Earth maintains a cozy lifestyle, being third rock from the sun. For over four billion years, the sun has been an ally, warming and feeding our planet. But in time, our solar heater will become our enemy. The sun and the Earth have a unique relationship to each other. The Earth has a particular temperature, it's a particular size, it has life on it, and oceans, and those things depend on the sun. The sun is at the root of the existence of life on the Earth, and the sun will be at the root of, of its demise as well. Earth's relationship with the sun will become dysfunctional when our solar mother really turns up the heat. The sun gets hotter because it's burning hydrogen into helium. Four hydrogen atoms become one helium atom. Uh, that means there are fewer particles bouncing around inside the sun. And that process basically means that the sun has to get hotter and brighter to hold itself up. As the sun's core gets hotter, its outer parts will swell in size and turn red. If you have a bonfire, you have all this wood there, uh, you build it up, and at some point enough logs get burnt and the thing collapses and you get this huge burst of sparks and it gets much brighter. In a sense, it's like that because the sun is right now burning hydrogen into helium and the helium is the ash of that, if you like. And then as the sun collapses enough, the ash relights and the helium burns into carbon. And that's when things get really hot. At this point, the sun will expand into a red giant and incinerate most complex life on Earth. When the sun becomes a red giant, it will grow to 30 times its size. So the surface of the sun will actually be out beyond the orbit of Mercury. The luminosity of the sun will go up by like a thousand times. And that's gonna make the Earth so hot that the outer crust, the, the rocks, the solid part of the Earth will melt. The whole planet would be a glowing ball of, of lava. The sun will fry the inner planets, and uh, even though the, the sun will become red and cooler, the Earth will be much hotter. Just leave the Earth a burnt cinder, like a charcoal briquette. So that would be bad for life on Earth. And the Earth's hellish fate isn't over. As a red giant, the sun will fluctuate in size before collapsing into a white dwarf. The sun that was huge uh, suddenly becomes the sun that's very small and extremely dense. It's only about the size of the Earth sitting down there at the center of our solar system, very much fainter than it used to be, uh, and then everything cools off. And, and then that object is no longer generating energy either, so it begins to cool as well. So the, the final fate of the solar system will be to cool off and freeze. Humans will probably have relocated to another planet or become extinct before the sun turns Earth into a snowball. However, the sun may dry up our world much sooner. If the sun doesn't get us at the time of the red giant phase, it may well get us earlier by just becoming bright enough to cause the oceans to uh, evaporate. Water is an essential component for all life. And so if the Earth actually loses all its water, then that's another reason why life might disappear from the Earth, and it would, it would again be the sun's fault. There may be ways for Earth to win a stay of execution. As the sun is swelling, it also begins to lose mass much more rapidly than it's losing it now. And of course, if, if it's getting less massive, it has less of a hold on the Earth, the Earth will move further out into a larger orbit. And so it's kind of a race between the growing sun and the growing heat from the sun and the Earth actually moving, you know, a little bit away from that fire that's getting too hot. <laughs>